You don't feel like you belong in any religion anymore. There are too many doubts, too many questions, too many... You're supposed to turn a blind eye to too much stuff happening. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I'm the Prosperity Minister. I support you in regaining your self-confidence, in leaving behind the pain and the limiting stories of the past, and in rising victorious in your true design life. I believe that you get to live free, fulfilled, financially abundant, and a love-drenched life. Now, this is the thing. I, I used to consider myself Christian, and I was very Christian, very Christian. I've been Christian practically my whole life, okay? But then I started having questions. I started having doubts and concerns. First and foremost, I started off as Catholic. There were lots of questions, lots and lots of questions. And I used to harangue the seminarians, the, 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 the trainee priests, when they came around our, our school, actually, when I was a youngster. And, um, and question and question and question, but I didn't have the courage to actually transition into just pure Christianity until I was about 17 when I came to the UK. And because ultimately, I, well, no, let's carry on with this. So, so when I came to the UK, I, I chose to transition into just being a purely born again Christian. And I loved it. Why? Because I love the divine. I love God. I love God. And that's like you, you love God. And you kind of for a long time believed that the only way you could connect with God in any kind of meaningful way was through some kind of religious pathway. That was me for a very long time, really believing that I had to be at church. I had to do the things that church demanded of me. I had to bury who I was for a very long time in order to satisfy what they said was acceptable to the divine. And I'm here to tell you that it's, it's not true. I'm not saying every single person needs to give up their religion, no. I'm speaking to you, the one who has questions, who has doubts, and is holding on desperately because you're really scared that if you let go, that you'll also let go of the divine, of God. And I'm saying to you, it's not true. You can, in fact, if anything, my relationship with the divine has gone deeper as a result of walking away from, what's it called, religion, <laughs> whatever it's called, religion, ultimately. I've been able to just, it's just me and the divine, connecting even deeper, really feeling unconditionally loved. I still remember reading The Shack first. Uh, he's, he, he didn't want everybody to leave church. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know, actually, there, there was a bit of a movement there of, so you don't want to go to church anymore, <laughs> type thing. <laughs> Ultimately, there was a whole book written about that. And, and that was the first thing for me, I guess, getting to this place of, there's just something not quite right about the way religion seems to be playing out when really all I want is God. All I want is that, that depth of relationship with the divine, with knowing that I am one with the divine, knowing that I'm completely unconditionally loved. And you long for that feeling because you know that ultimately we need the divine. You know that. You know that the foundation of your life is that connection with the divine. But the way you've been told to do things, there's just too many questions, too many doubts, too many, is this really it? Is this really God? Really? Well, honey, I say dare to question, dare to go deeper with those doubts. The truth stands up to scrutiny. If your truth isn't standing up to scrutiny, maybe it isn't your truth. Maybe there's another way to look at things. Maybe there's a direct way to go straight to the divine and, and actually find peace there, prosperity there. Maybe some of the things that you've been told are not actually the only truth. Dare to follow what your intuition is saying. Dare to trust yourself. Because that's one thing that I, in some ways, religion taught, taught me not to trust myself, that I could deceive myself. I'm sure we can, and I'm sure we do from time to time. But when it comes to this connection with the divine, I had to learn again that actually I can trust the divine to guide me. I don't need somebody somewhere telling me how they think I should be doing things. It's okay for me to trust the divine's voice within me. Question for you, though, can you hear the divine's voice? Do you know how to do that? Or have you been holding, I don't know, holding back, holding back from going as deep as you could with the divine because you're so afraid of all the rules and the dogma that you've been taught that you now 
you, you can't properly experience that oneness with the divine, with God. Honey, I do invite you very strongly to the Deliberate Millionaire's Incubator. Come and deepen your relationship with the divine. To me, that's the foundation of every single thing that we do. As Well, as Deliberate Millionaires, it's the very foundation of everything we do. But frankly, I believe for everyone, for every single soul, that it is the very foundation of every single soul. I do not believe that you can live to the fullness of your potential without this connection to the divine. But I do completely believe that you can live to the fullness of your potential without religion. <laughs> okay. And I'm, again, this is, it's not, I, what I'm saying here is not necessarily for every single soul. It's not even for every single deliberate millionaire, because I know that there are some deliberate millionaires who are very um, attached to the religion and that's absolutely fine. But I'm speaking to you, the one who is struggling to stay attached to religion. Maybe you've learned about this, this deity that seems so not like God, not like love. And, and you're, you're struggling to, assert, to connect this person you've learned about with this person you've experienced inside of your heart. And I'm saying, honey, go with your heart. Go with your heart. Come and do life with me in the Deliberate Millionaire's Incubator. Come and regain your trust, self-trust self-confidence, self-belief. Come and regain that connection, that deep, deep, deep connection with the divine. From that foundation, you can build every single other thing that you dream about. You are called into something more. You know it. You've always known it. You just haven't, well, you've just got confused and messed around with all of this stuff that you've learned in religion and all of this. I'm saying, let's start with a clean slate. Come into the Deliberate Millionaire's Incubator. Come and let go of all of that pain and all of that nonsense and confusion and come directly to source. Okay? Come on in. Much amazing love. There is a link around this video. Take a look. You'll know. When you read through the page, you'll know. If you've been following me for any length of time, you already know that you need to be a member of the Deliberate Millionaire's Incubator. So join in. Okay? It's time to be empowered to live to the fullness of your potential. Share this video with somebody else and take a look at the link. It's rosemarylonionight.com forward slash deliberate millionaire. Come and join in. Do not delay. Join in now. Much amazing love.